And then it kind of just got brought up that our moms had known the same guy, like been <laughs> with the same guy. And then, yeah, like a few days later, that's when we were kind of like, that's weird. Like, this is weird. <laughs> Welcome back to Other People's Lives. I'm Joe Santagato. I'm Greg Dybeck. For anyone out there that wants to be a guest on our show, don't hesitate to reach out to us. You can reach us at our email, which is oplpodcast at gmail.com. Yeah, and today we're speaking with popular TikTok couple, Carly and Mercedes. Uh, they've been making headlines recently when they announced that they may actually be half-sisters. And we've got them on the line and we're excited to chat with them today. So thanks so much for being on. Thanks, thanks for, for having, having us. us. Yeah. So you guys have, I believe, almost a million followers on TikTok, a ton of people follow, following your relationship together. But now you have people kind of holding their breath and waiting for DNA test results. Uh, but before we get into all of that, can you just tell us quickly uh, how you met and how you started gaining such popularity on TikTok? Yeah. So we met at a bar. Um, we kind of just had like an instant connection I went up and talked to Carly and then, um, yeah, we kind of like had our first little night together and then we've hung out pretty much every day since then. We, we started social media like probably six months yeah. into dating and, um, yeah, we didn't really expect it to blow up. It was the pandemic and we were kind of just like, we need something to do. Like we need something fun and like a hobby almost. So, yeah, we started social media and then one of our videos kind of just took off and then our engagement was just crazy good. And yeah, it's all just been crazy since then. Yeah. And like the majority of our followers, like when we first started getting a following, the main reason I feel like why they were commenting on our videos is because they were like, oh, my God, like you guys look like sisters. You guys <laughs> look like twins, like take a DNA test. So like. I think it's just like really ironic and it's kind of like full circle that, you know, we're here today <laughs> with, you know, the story we're about to tell. Yeah, I was, I was going to ask like what, uh, which video went like viral? Did it have anything pertaining to this subject at all? No, it was, I think it was a Valentine's Day video. It was, that one kind of started, but I that think. That was our first one that hit like over 10K. I think it only had like 15K and we were going crazy about it. It was so <laughs> embarrassing. <laughs> Um, and then we had another one that was like a sexual ish kind of video. And that's the one that like took off. Yeah. It was like, um, tell me why you're dating your girlfriend without telling me why you're dating your girlfriend. And, um, yeah, I looked at, or I put the camera on Mercedes and then she did this like really crazy thing with her tongue. And then people just reacted <laughs> to that really well. And then people were like stitching it and like, yeah. duetting it. So that's kind of how I feel like our like socials really yeah. started. And was that when people started commenting about how you guys looked very similar? Yeah, that was probably the first video of that. And then every video since then has been sisters, twins, sisters, twins. Oh my God, <laughs> you look so much alike. Like, <laughs> did, did you guys think when you first met that you looked alike or did that not cross your mind until people started saying it? The crazy thing is, is that even though all this is going on, we still can't see it. No, like, we I don't see it at all. Yeah, we never even wow. realized from like when we started dating what are you talking about? Like, <laughs> we still can't see it, but we also like, um, I think it was Mercedes actually that was telling me about this whole like doppelganger situation yeah. and that if you actually were to see like your doppelganger in real life, you wouldn't recognize them mm -hmm. or something because mm -hmm. you don't see yourself the way other people see you. So it's like, yeah, maybe it's something like that. I don't know, but <laughs> it's crazy. That's super interesting. So, all right, I guess, uh, Let's get to it. How did you first find out that despite all the jokes, you know, that you look alike, that you might actually be half sisters for real? Um, well, we were just like having dinner with our moms and the conversation, like they were kind of talking about where they've been, like places they've been, people they've hung out with. Yeah. Like we're all from the same hometown too. Like it's a very small town. We so. actually, Carly and I actually grew up um, neighbors and we didn't even know it. Yeah. And, um, yeah, so we were just kind of talking about that. And then it kind of just got brought up that our moms had known the same guy, like <laughs> been with the same guy. 
And we all thought it was just like really funny. And we were like, wow, crazy, small world. Like we didn't think much of it in the moment. And then, yeah, like a few days later, that's when we were kind of like, that's weird. Like this is weird. <laughs> that's funny. Yeah. That's weird. <laughs> Um, so, at that, so at that, was this before the comments or was this kind of like happening at the same time and then you kind of like piece it together of being like, oh, everyone's saying this and now this story is kind of like playing into this whole conspiracy that's on TikTok? Um, I think this was like before we made a TikTok about it. Like we kind of just like found out the information, like took a couple days to like process it. And then then once we started you know, putting all the pieces together, we were like, oh shit. Like, yeah, the comments were long thing. before, like the comments yeah. have been happening for a year, you yeah. know, like literally mm-hmm. since the beginning. And this was recent information. Do you know, well, so, so you found out that your mom's slept with the same guy, but do you, so you don't know, either of you don't know your biological fathers? Yeah, we never um, grew up like with our dads. Our dads were never present in our lives. Um, we both have, you know, severe daddy issues. So, <laughs> so yeah. And like, we, you know, like have obviously spoken to our moms about this and they like, we know who our dads are based off like what they've told us, but you know, the timelines, <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> the coincidences that are happening are just, we're not sold. Yeah. So we yeah. just really want to, you know, figure this out for ourselves and And for our audience, because yeah, since the beginning, we've been told, take a DNA test. Like you have to get a 23 and me, you have to get a DNA test. (sighs) Yeah. And I think like the, you know, we didn't even notice the similarities at first, but like, as time goes on, like coincidences between us are just getting weirder and weirder. Like our face IDs work to unlock each other's phones. Yeah. Like I've never (laughs) been able to do that with anyone before. And so this is like, you know, like, shit just isn't adding up that's funny because that actually happened recently but it was with my wife and her sister so there you go yeah oh, oh my god, god. <laughs> yeah that's insane and this, oh my guys, this happened you guys like just had the same reaction too. to that also just saying <laughs> you both, in unison we'll said oh my god <laughs> yeah we'll literally like sing the same lyric in a song at the exact same time and it's not playing like we do weird similar stuff like, like our actions are the same today. people say on our videos we do like the same hand motions or we have the exact same reactions or it's just weird yeah just so i mean <laughs> I don't, if it if it's if it if it was me i don't know that i would ever like I guess broadcast the fact of like, yeah, we're about to find out if we're sort of related uh, here. So what's, what's the reason for being so transparent with the audience of being like, yeah. And like, also what would the reaction be if you find out that you guys are indeed half sisters? Well, the reason for sharing it is like, this is our career, right? Like we kind of chose to do this, to put our lives out on the internet, we share everything. You know what I mean? Like we have no secrets. We're so open. Our YouTube, like people say they follow us because we're so open and transparent and just real and authentic. And like when things like happen in our lives like this, I feel like it's so important to bring our audience along because they're so invested in our lives. And so anytime anything crazy happens, whether it's good or bad, we've like, I think, feel this need to kind of share it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I think, too, like, a lot of people, we've even gotten so many messages saying, like, it's hard to find, you know, people that are, like, authentic or, like, talk about, like, really, you know, taboo subjects. Mm -hmm. And so we really pride ourselves in, like, being, you know, that platform for people. And, like, obviously, this whole situation has been insane. And, like, we have received a lot of, like, you know, hate and, like, hurtful comments. (laughs) But for the most part, like... Even if, you know, people are like, oh, like, you know, these girls are disgusting. It's like incest, blah, blah, blah. Like, at the end of the day, like, people are, you know, excited to come to our platform. Like, they're excited to watch our videos. Like, they want to keep up with updates about us. Like, even before all of this, like, we still had, like, a really, like, solid following of people who just really wanted to, you know, know what was going on in our lives. So we just felt Mm -hmm. like it was really, you know, important to share but um, we also had no idea the amount of, um, like, media and publicity this situation yeah. would get. Like, we were no so shook at, like, 
Yeah, we, we came across it um, just through a few headlines, just news headlines. Like it started getting covered everywhere. Yeah, like, literally everywhere. We like, didn't even know. We know our family. <laughs> like I have family in the UK and they've reached out and been like, hey, saw you on the news. Like we get messages <laughs> on TikTok or Instagram being like, you were on the radio in Ireland mm-hmm. or you were on the news in <laughs> Netherlands. Like, like what is even happening yeah. right now? And we didn't even know for the first few days that it had gone no clue. Like, viral like this oh, wow. because we're just seeing the engagement on TikTok and we're like, wow, this is great. And then someone commented saying, oh, I just like read an article about you two. And we were like, an article? So we Googled <laughs> ourselves. And there oh was like God. 10 articles written. And we were like, what is happening? Yeah. So it, was, we, um, it was crazy. Yeah. No, it's always nuts when it kind of uh, goes off the platform it was intended for and just starts hitting all the like other types of media, you know, outlets and formats. Um, but it seems like you guys will like, will you be happy if the te- test results come back positive that your sisters oh my god <laughs> no. that is a reach <laughs> no. no oh okay right like, <laughs> no. um i think right now like it just it doesn't feel like real to us you know this is such new information that i feel like we haven't even yeah, really we're, processed we're it. literally finding out real time as we're posting it so yeah. while the whole world is processing it together <laughs> yeah um for us it's just like I think people forget that we have been in a relationship and in love for the last two years, you know, like finding out this information is obviously insane, but it's hard to just put our relationship on hold or pretend that like we don't have such integrated lives together, you know? So it's like, I feel like our mindset right now is like the test hasn't come back. And And so we don't know for sure. We don't know. You know what I mean? Like we're not going to stop our relationship or break up or like, not do what we do because it might be something but yeah I think we're just kind of being a little bit positive but we absolutely would not be happy (laughs) that's like (laughs) the last thing we would be yeah Yeah. but I know a lot of people because they're like oh my god like you guys seem like you're like laughing about like you know like you're taking this that's why I asked yeah (laughs) yeah but like honestly it's just how we're dealing with it like I don't want to like sit around every day and like cry and be upset or be like frustrated or you know like I I just want to continue with our lives and like whenever we get the results we'll get the results but like I feel like if we were to sit around you know just like being upset and like being weird around each other like the days are going to take a lot longer like the results are going to feel like they're going to take you know a year in that sense so I think we're just like crossing bridges as as they they come come, yeah Mm -hmm. And uh, when do you get the results? Well, we just took the DNA test. We posted that on our TikTok. So it should be anywhere between probably like three to six weeks. Yeah. Oh, man. Wow. That's a yeah. long That's three a long to six weeks. A yeah. long time to and sweat it like, out. <laughs> I feel like we, we're trying to like, you know, go back to post thing just like regular regular content, content in the meantime because I'm like we can't make videos about this for three weeks like you yeah. know it's, it's past like we've made enough content about it but now it's like anytime we even post like a regular couple couple video it's like that's your sister. The results. that's your sister Wait. <laughs> like we need to do something in the meantime like this you know we can't job, just sit yeah. around yeah. yeah no are you are you at all worried about if it does come back that obviously you know you guys can handle that, you know, in your way with your relationship personally, but professionally with the TikTok account, do you think that would kind of affect your careers as far as that goes? If it does come out that you guys are confirmed half sisters, uh, are you at all worried about what that means moving forward? That's a really good question. I feel like there's definitely like some worry there as that news is (laughs) <laughs> like life changing <laughs> um that kind of alters your whole view on things but i would like to think that we would still like make content maybe in a different way <laughs> but <laughs> even if it doesn't work out as like you know whatever our platform is now yeah like, like we're we're best friends we're you know what yeah. i mean like we're in each other's lives so heavily that like yeah i don't think it would just, just like be stop. a stop of something you know yeah, I think we would definitely but, get, like, a lot of, like, hate probably, but, I mean, you know, at the end of the day, like, it is 
our lives and you know this is our career like regardless of anything so yeah we would just do whatever feels comfortable for us at the time and just do you um is there yeah maybe it's hard to answer but like uh, do you know for a fact if you get this news like you you won't be in a relationship anymore or will you maybe try to maintain the relationship that you have yeah, this is this has obviously been something that we've discussed like ever since we even found out that there could be like <clears throat> a possibility that we were, you know, related in some way. Um, but I think that it's really important to us um just to make sure at the end of the day like we're doing you know, what we want to do and like trying not to take like so many opinions of like the whole world watching your situation. And so, you know, we've obviously discussed it so much. And I think just like at this time, because of like how public it is, we've decided just to keep, you know, that information to ourselves for right now, just until the results come out, just because like, obviously so many people yeah have like so many opinions and like yeah. want to tell us what to do and what not to yeah. do yeah. with our lives so like I think talking about it is kind of just like putting fuel to the fire and like giving people a reason to either be upset or be happy or be you know what I mean and like this is a, a real situation for us and I feel like although we do share every single thing online this <laughs> specific thing is like really serious and true to us so i feel like yeah we're kind of just yeah no it's like it just makes for such a, a good headline and entertainment for other people but like really hearing you talk about this there is a um i don't want to say sadness but there's just like an intensity and a realness to it because you'll be faced with uh such a huge decision like i can't imagine something so unexpected kind of blindsiding you and possibly you know, having to make the decision of like leaving someone that you're in love with that you've been with for so much time. And, uh, that's obviously deeply personal and, you know, a huge thing for you guys to navigate because like you said, the public is just <laughs> throwing their opinions at you. They want answers. You also, like Joe said, have this career to think about of making content together. Uh, it's definitely, you know, a, a lot of weight on you guys, I'm sure. Yeah, for sure. But the funny thing is that I honestly feel like 60% of our comments have been pretty positive about like us yeah. staying together if it is positive like people are saying you know you weren't raised together or you can't procreate you can't procreate because that's like this I guess the serious issue about incest is like mm, procreation yeah. or you know like inbred children yeah and um but yeah, so like a lot of people are like, ah, who cares? Like you can't, you can't harm anyone else. You've already done everything you guys, you don't like, like look done. at each other as sisters. <laughs> yeah. You've already like done the deed. And so I'm surprised that the amount of people that are like, yeah. so supportive and the, for it. The positive reactions were shocking. So and like the amount of messages we get being like, even if the results are positive, like say they're negative and like, live your life. We're like, okay, we're not going to do that. But like, <laughs> yeah. that's so crazy that like, you know, they believe in our relationship so much and like so many people are just like in support of our situation and I think that's why it's been talked about so much and it's you know gone to the level that it has because it's so controversial like it's mm -hmm. there was even so like, controversial we were on the radio um and we listened to like the this was it like the segment that was mm -hmm. about us and um the girl that was on there was like oh like I don't really think it's wrong I'm all for it and, and then the guy was like no this is like morally wrong and they yeah. were like but she was like yeah I'm kind of okay with it yeah. and then there was like um the famous comedian Heather McDonald she did a podcast segment about us and she was like uh you know like I don't think it's that big of a deal like, like lick away, lick away. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. So, Honestly, it's a good it's a good point because I I think, you know, obviously the the procreation thing is the I guess the biggest issue and I mean, you guys have been dating for 2 years like yeah. you know, like you said before. Like I mean, it didn't even like hit me as uh, until you said it even though like it's pretty obvious, but like yeah, there's not really another thing you could do to make this quote unquote <laughs> yeah. worse than it already is like <laughs> yeah we are you're already like here you guys are in love with each other and you're <laughs> yeah. fucking like working together like it's like you know what i mean <laughs> like, and people yeah. are gonna have something to say anyway you guys could have been you know a fucking straight couple and people are it, people who put their relationship out there people always have an opinion about it and there's people are gonna there's gonna be a divide this obviously is a little more controversial than that um 
<laughs> but yeah, that is true. So it is a, 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 a interesting sort of thing to think about. Um, yeah. but it, it, you know, it, it's actually sort of topical. I mean, I just saw this thing on Netflix, uh, I forgot the name of it, but it was a guy who did uh, artificial insemination or something. But then he was the one putting his sperm in all of it. So all these people in this town were like related and didn't know. And it was a huge issue, but mostly oh because of, yeah, it was horrible. Uh, but <laughs> mostly because of the fact that if you meet a guy and you have a baby, there could be complications and like, you know, that whole thing. But when you're yeah, dealing like with genetics and everything. Yeah. But when you're not, you know, procreating, then I guess that takes away you know one of the bigger issues there i guess um, yeah then i guess at that point it just comes down to like morals and stuff and then that's where other people would reach in and say like you weren't raised together you have no like yeah. sister connection it's not like a sister it's not like bond. we feel like you know we're family in that way because we didn't know this information we never grew up together we never saw each other in that way yeah. so like yeah. there's so many different things that come into play it's not so like black and white you know no, I have a question. Right. I just thought about if, if it, and you might not know the answer, this is a pretty big question now that I think about it, but, uh, if it were to come back positive, then you guys would both know who your biological father is potentially. Would you try to meet him or would you just not even want to go? Know, down that path? Yeah, well, no. I, I wouldn't, I don't know what you would do, but I feel like growing up without a dad, I do a lot better with it than Carly does. So I feel like you probably would want me to have a dad, but <laughs> yeah. Um, no, I feel like I am better off, you know, without knowing, like I don't even want the disappointment or the, yeah, I just wouldn't, I wouldn't touch it. I would not touch it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I feel like there would be like a little bit more like temptation for me because like, it's so weird. Like when I was younger, I like never, you know, really gave a shit that like, my dad wasn't in my life but now that I'm older I'm realizing that it's starting to like affect me in ways like I didn't care about it when I was a little kid so like why do I care about it now in my 20s you know like I've gone my whole life without it um but I think the you know the situation with that is that I was always like so upset that like I didn't have this like father figure but then you know I met Mercedes and now I have a daddy so it's like <laughs> you know it's all yeah, it's all pretty funny, but. <laughs> nice. You guys, it seems like you're uh, very good at teamwork in, in like navigating <laughs> some of these uh, difficult scenarios. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I feel like honestly, if if I was going through this situation and then all of the media and whatever covering it, like in a way it would just make it worse. But it seems like you guys are really taking it in stride and, and r truly taking it like day by day and not trying to overthink anything because it could all be for nothing also. Yeah, that's the thing. We really are taking it day by day. Like, and again, I, I don't think it has hit us. Like we're, yeah. I'm using humor to kind of navigate through it. Yeah. But yeah, it's hard with the media, especially the headlines. They're all saying like, sisters find out they're related and continue to date yeah. you know like that's yeah, false yeah. Direction. Yeah. it's not like oh they could be or like they took the dna to, like they say that in the article but all the headlines are like they're related and they're yeah. still dating and that causes like the backlash too yeah and people are like oh you guys are just using this for like monetary gain like you know they created this only fans oh, account yeah. called not your average sisters and we're like if you've you know followed us or known us at all like our OnlyFans account has been not your mm. average sisters since the beginning. Since the beginning. Before I think, any of this. Yeah, I think it was maybe Carly and Mercedes for like a, a week or two. Yeah. And then we switched it to not your average sisters. And that was, you know, our name from the beginning. So like this wasn't. People are just trying to find, you know, yeah, other thing and just take yeah. it. Yeah. No, yeah. And it's it's good to have this conversation, I think, to clear up that misconception. Um, because that that's what I wasn't sure about. Even, like, I was very serious when I asked, like, are you going to be happy if it's positive? Because it's kind of hard to tell. But I think uh, it's good to hear because, like, social media is such a beast and can hold so much power over us. And to hear that you guys are really uh, keeping this decision personal, and kind of navigating that in your own way and not feeling like you have to be influenced by people's opinions or the fact, fact that there's so many eyeballs on this. Because I think people would make that kind of assumption of like, oh, well, 
they, they almost want this to happen or they're going to stay together no matter what so that they can grow their TikTok and OnlyFans and, you know, but clearly that's not how you're approaching this. Yeah, no. no. Someone even um, reached out to us and asked if they could have like exclusive rights to our DNA test video so they could be like the first to release it. And we were like, Absolutely no, not. <laughs> <laughs> like an <laughs> NFT <laughs> or something. <laughs> gonna sell our yeah. DNA videos yeah. so you can be the first to post it yeah, you know like we we did this we started this on TikTok and mm-hmm. we know how bad our TikTok audience like is following along with us like yeah and we wouldn't be allowed to post it on TikTok if we gave them exclusive rights because yeah, like we're not TikTok is to... a public domain so anyone can use the videos that we post mm-hmm. um and so yeah we were like absolutely not like we don't we don't want yeah we're not using being, this like, story to be like Oh, people would hate you if you like put it behind a paywall or something. Like, find out the results here for just nine ninety nine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're like mm, no. Yeah, but yeah, it's like it's only like available on OnlyFans. Crazy. You guys can find out if we're sisters or not. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you would make a lot of money, but <laughs> yeah, for yeah. Sure. But you know, we're not. Yeah. This is about. This like, didn't start as like a huge like didn't think it was scam kind of to make money in the first. Yeah. Like, this is just us being, like, way too personal on the internet, like we always, always are. And then, you know, it turned into this, so. I wild. mean, I'll say this. If it was a scam, that's a good scam because, <laughs> I mean, it's working out, <laughs> you know. <laughs> p- perfectly executed, honestly, yeah, so like, I respect it. We just want to be known as, like, the couple on TikTok incest, for incest. Yeah, like, that, that is definitely the, you know, our career goals. Like Corner the market, yeah. yeah. There you I go. Want to be it's niche. For this. Like, absolutely <laughs> not. This is not headlines that you want to see yourself in, to be honest. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, well, listen, we, we appreciate you coming on and, and, and talking to us. And, you know, for people that want to follow along, I mean, I'm going to be following along. I, I need to know now. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to be sweating it out for the next I'm three more weeks excited also. for this to come out than like the last two episodes of Stranger Things. Like this is <laughs> this is like number one on my list right now. Uh, well, <laughs> we need to know. Um, but yeah, yeah, where can uh, where can people follow you or find you and to follow along with the um, story? Yeah. So we have obviously our TikTok account, which is just Carly and Mercedes. And then we have um, our OnlyFans, which is not your average sisters with a Z. And we have YouTube, which is Carly and Mercedes. And we have our personal Instagrams. Mine is Mercedes X Stewart. And mine is Carly Goncher. And that's pretty much all our yeah, platforms that we use. Yeah, that's pretty much what we have going on right now. Mm-hmm. Awesome. Well, uh, yeah, thank you so much. Uh, I think we'll be able to direct uh, a lot of new eyeballs to you to that will uh, also be anticipating this news. So, uh I think more than anything, just, you know, good luck with, with everything. And, uh, we'll be watching along with the rest of the world, but, you know, more than anything after speaking to you today, um, you know, beyond just the entertainment factor of it all is, you know, we just, we hope it works out in your favor and it seems like you guys are, uh, doing a good job, you know, navigating this, uh, bizarre, unexpected situation. So really just kind of wish you the best with whatever happens. Thank you, Thank so, you much. so much. And thanks for having us. Yes. Of course. Thank you guys for taking the time. No Absolutely. problem. All right. All right. Have a good one. Have a good one. Have okay, a good one. Guys. Bye. Before we get to our final thoughts, we do have sponsors for today. The first one being Manscaped. Manscaped is going to help you and your boys downstairs stay fresh. Uh, they have a fourth generation trimmer, uh, features a a cutting edge ceramic blade that reduces grooming accidents, which is huge because there's been times in the past where you use a cheap razor or use a cheap trimmer or something like that. And it nips you and then you're bleeding like hell. Um, so with manscaped, especially in my, uh, experience, the best. Uh, it's, it's amazing. You don't get hurt. It doesn't pull. It doesn't do any of that. Uh, it's great. Um, and uh, yeah, they have the lawnmower, lawnmower 4.0, and they have the weed whacker, ear and nose hair trimmer, uh, crop preserver, ball deodorant, 
uh, crop reliever toner, there's boxer briefs, and a travel bag to hold your goodies. Like, they have everything, folks. Um, if, if you uh, are a guy and you're not using Manscaped, I don't know what to tell you. Uh, you got to start doing it. Uh, they even threw in two free gifts to their Performance Package 4.0, the Manscaped Boxers, and the Travel Bag. By the way, those are complimentary. Uh, get 20% off and free shipping with the code OPL at Manscaped.com. That's 20% off and free shipping with the code OPL at Manscaped.com. Keep your balls trimmed, fresh, and clean with Manscaped. All right? So there you go, folks. Uh, and lastly here, our next sponsor for today is uh, BetterHelp. BetterHelp is online counseling for people that maybe are going through a tough time or maybe just want to stay mentally healthy. I started doing therapy, uh, I think, two years ago, and uh, there was nothing in particular that really stood out to me. It just made sense that, you know, if you're going to go to the gym and exercise and eat healthy, you might as well keep your mind healthy as well. Talk to someone. I find it extremely helpful. Um, so for BetterHelp, this is a great way to, you know, jump right in. You can start communicating with a, a therapist in just under 48 hours through their platform. Um, and also it's a fraction of the price of in-person therapy, which can be very expensive. Uh, BetterHelp Online Therapy wants to remind you to prioritize yourself. Uh, you know, like I said, it's custom. It, it's also customized, uh, offers online phone and even live chat sessions with your therapist. Um, and it's affordable, like I said, and, and even on top of it being affordable, you can save even more money if you, uh, on your first month, if you go to betterhelp.com slash OPL, that is betterhelp.com slash OPL. Okay. So, uh, yeah, get out there, talk to a therapist, 10% off, uh, of your first month, betterhelp.com slash OPL. Guys, we want to talk quickly about microdosing. I'm sure this is a concept that you may be familiar with, especially around psychedelics, but it's something that's getting more popular by the day when it comes to microdosing THC. And the idea is that you get a much smaller amount of THC so that it can have benefits throughout the day, such as helping you be less anxious, uh, maybe be more productive, more creative, or maybe can even be used to wind down at night for sleep, workout recoveries. Uh, there's a really long list of different benefits that can fit into your specific lifestyle and needs. And today our show is sponsored by Microdose Gummies. Microdose Gummies deliver perfect entry-level doses of THC that help you feel just the right amount of good. Uh, like I said, they can be used for whatever you decide within your own lifestyle. Uh, very common is winding down at night, uh, needing to get good sleep. That's something I struggle with sometimes. Uh, or on the flip side of that, um, really getting into the zone during a work day. Um, if there's certain tasks that you have or something creative that you want to tackle, um, but you can definitely find a way to incorporate microdosing into your lifestyle and microdose is available nationwide to learn more about microdosing THC, go to microdose.com, use code OPL to get free shipping and 30% off your first order. Uh, that's a Really good deal from, from Microdose. Uh, links can be found in the show description, but again, that's microdose.com and code OPL, and you'll get that free shipping plus 30% off your first order so that you can give it a try. All right, so what would you do? <laughs> what would you do? <laughs> you know, I'm not even going to pretend Stuffy. that I have like a strong opinion because it would just be so hard because th I don't know that really opened my eyes to just how difficult to just like turn off a switch of someone like that you've been with that you love I mean obviously I, I think it would be very hard to stay together like so I think my answer would be let's figure out how to keep this business running and this relationship as friends like keep it platonic as yikes i don't know if kind of related I think, I think you're like doing the safe answer here like i don't, I don't think that's gonna work out like who are we kidding i don't know it's just it's it's very hard to imagine unless you ever find yourself i think in you that gotta situation. you gotta either you gotta break up and just like fucking jesus or you gotta like just commit and be like fucking whatever dude I, I, the only thing that kind of like because for me i think if i found out that Dude, I imagine this has happened at least one time in the world where people got married and they were married for like a couple years or something. And then they find out that they're secretly related or cousins or something like that. Like at that point, what the fuck do you do? I know, you know? I know. And the only thing that kind of pops into my head is like, 
the children aspect where if you do like the inbreeding sort of thing, like there could be complications and, and whatever. And, you know, that's not good. Um, but if you're a gay couple or a lesbian couple, like there really keep is none licking? of that. You would keep no, on licking? I think so. I, I, th- I don't know. Like, I think so, because when you think about it, right, people, th- there's been people who grew up without fathers and then they have a stepfather from when they're three years old, mm-hmm. right? And when they're in their 20s, they go, this is my dad. You know what I mean? Like, it, it's not about the, you know, it, it's about the fucking, the, the, the conversations and the talking and the intent and the, the love and the care and all that stuff like that makes someone who they are you know like there is obviously biological reasons why people are related to each other but like people say that stuff you know where they go no this is my dad like he he didn't have a hand in in making me but this is my fucking father and now with this it's kind of like i didn't even know this person i met them later in life and you know whatever and we weren't like sisters or anything and like maybe <laughs> there bi- something biological in there is is similar with them, but they they are never going to run into the issues that a heterosexual couple will will run into. So like, what is the downfall? It is the uh, the thinking in that the, context. Yes, you know what I mean. I guess put I'm putting myself in the situation of being a straight man and imagining that like happened yeah. with my wife. Um, I, I don't think I could do that. I would be no, like, I don't think so. like, that's a heavy. I can't. Yeah. I definitely also, and that's why I asked, like, if I thought that this was a possibility, I'm like, I was going to go take a test. I would never tell people that. They're committed to, they're committed to it all. No, I, I mean, know. Well, I know. I believe like, them when they say it's just like, if that's, if this is their career now and it's full honesty, full transparency, but, but. I, to have, to still have that balance of like, like they didn't even want to answer that question to us of like, what, what will you do if it comes back positive? Because they are keeping that person on. Like, that was nice. Like, I'm actually glad that was their answer. And that makes me feel like it really isn't just a show or just for eyeballs. Like, yes, it's very enticing, engaging content, but there's still that personal aspect that they're sort of keeping to themselves. I don't think that they're lying. But I will say, if they were lying, you would still have to say that. You can't bury the lead. That's fair. You well, can't of say course. Like, oh, yeah, we weren't, we weren't going to break like the, the story here today. Yeah, I guess. You, can't, you can't be like, yeah, we're, we're just going to stay together anyway. Then like, who cares about the fucking test? Of it's course. Kind of like, you know. my, my point is I, I, I believe that they are like carving out the, the personal space kind of away from the eyeballs, which is nice. Because I think that's the only way to keep your sanity in, in this type of situation and actually make a decision that doesn't feel pressured by, you know, how big this is getting on social media. Uh, I feel differently. I think it's too late. I think that they're, it's already <laughs> out there. The pressure is there. Like, honestly, I, I'm just being honest. Like, I really feel like it's all there. And, uh, you know, now they're in a position where they have to disclose the information to people. I hope they, oh, they have to disclose it. They have to disclose or it. Or if I'm them and it comes back positive and we decide we're going to stay together, I would just lie. Because at and this point, you don't owe these people anything. You owe them like something now because you've like set it up. But like, do you, is it worth having to deal with the fucking, the backlash of people like judging you and doing whatever? Like if, you know, if you're going to make a personal decision in your life and you're going to fucking, you know, uh, stay with your half sister or whatever, like. You know, some people, not really their cup of tea or whatever the fuck, but, like, if you're going to make that decision, like, why complicate it, bro? Just lie. Uh, Just lie. I don't know. I don't... I, I disagree with that because if if their their whole thing is to be as honest and transparent as possible and to keep this as their career as public figures, you can't lie. You can't, you can't do that to an How audience. would they know? It, it doesn't matter. You would know. You would have to keep up the lie. You would have to keep up the facade. And it's also, like they would want to make content that's true to themselves. So it's tricky. I don't know. I don't know, bro. I just look, feels like a lie job to me. (laughs) Feels like a lie job. I don't know, but we'll, I'm hopefully hopefully they're not, hopefully they're, they're not. And then this is for nothing. There's no fun. And then we're all, then we're all good here. Yeah. We'll see. But, uh, for anyone out there that wants to be a guest on our show, uh, hit our email, OPL podcast at gmail.com. Uh, and we'll try to set you up, get you on an episode. 
Yeah. Speaking of TikTok, you know, we're not on Carly and Mercedes level, but the OPL TikTok has been taken away. off a little bit, posting a bunch of clips. Go check that out at OPL Podcast. Uh, same for Instagram. And uh, if you want to support the show, you can head over to patreon.com slash OPL show, uh, become a patron there. And we're using those funds to uh, make charitable donations. And uh, that is all for this week. And uh Let's all uh, see what these DNA test results come back as. We're going to sweat it out for the next couple of weeks, (laughs) all right? See you guys next time.